In this video, I'm going to solder all the pads on our example soldering board. I've got my solder here, and I'm just dampening my sponge. Damp, 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 here's my damp sponge. First of all, I'm going to clean my soldering tip. Look at that, nice and clean. If you remember in our previous video, you have to heat up the solder pad and then add the solder to the pad. If the pad is hot enough, the solder will melt onto the pad. Don't forget to regularly clean the tip of the soldering iron. After you clean the soldering iron, add a tiny bit of solder to the tip so you can see where the hot part is. Touch the pad. And when the pad is hot enough, add the solder to the pad. And we'll do it again. Clean the soldering tip. Clean, 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 clean. Add a little bit of solder to the tip and heat the pad. Add the solder to the hot pad. Ooh, maybe a little bit more solder here. And repeat. Heat the pad. Add the solder to the pad. Heat the pad. Add the solder to the pad. Oh, my tip's getting a bit dirty here, so I might just clean that. Heat the pad. Add the solder to the pad. Wait a moment. When you're cleaning the soldering tip, you want to use long strokes to clean the tip, like you're wiping the sponge across the tip. Don't use a jabbing action like some people do. So now I'm just going to tidy up these pads. Some of them look a little bit more mm, rough than the others. So maybe I might add a bit more solder to some. I want a nice pillow looking pad. If you look closely at the pads, you can see there's a slight color change as the solder starts to cool. That color change is showing when the solder goes from a liquid back to a solid. And of course, don't forget that these pads are still going to be hot after you're finished, so maybe you should let them cool for a moment before you touch them. 